ตัวเราเนี่ยเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
that the telecom law is going to be launched in a proper way, and we are going to obey that. Okay, one last question. There is three other competitors. Uh, one is uh, another Orundu, and also there will be look, two local companies, Ambiti and Jadanabon Saibada. Um, what is your strategy? To, are you going to work with them, or what, what are you going to do with those competitors? We are used to work uh, in a competitive around in environment everywhere where we are. I think it's very special and for uh, that this Myanmar now has going to have more companies who are doing the same job. And we would like to welcome everyone who is going to build up the network so that the Myanmar people are going to have the access to uh, the mobile phones and the data. But we welcome all competitors. One last comment about the Myanmar people. Do you have any message for Myanmar people in general about this common telecommunication market? I have one final thing I would like to say. This is my second trip to Myanmar. Two years ago I was here as a tourist, visited Yangon, Bagan and the beautiful lake of Inde. Uh, and then I was so impressed and taken by the country and the people, the friendly people and the way that we were welcomed. These, imp these impressions helped us very much in the discussion whether we should invest in Myanmar or not. So we had the taken the decision to invest. We, the Myanmar people could ex expect us to work so that we are reaching the individuals, the mass market. They could expect us to recruit people and that are going to uh, work under the Telnor values. So, and you could expect us during five years to invest as much that we could reach the coverage of 90% of the country. That's my message to the to my Myanmar people.